Hello, I'm John Walton and welcome to the Runwayville Network PAX X Minute in association with Lufthansa Technik. This week we're talking in-flight connectivity with big news from many of the big players. Gogo and Panasonic have both signed extensive KU band connectivity deals with SES for high throughput capacity on the SES 14 and 15 satellites, both of which are scheduled for launch in 2017. Meanwhile, the first Australia Pacific carrier has signed up for in-flight Wi-Fi, with Qantas picking a Viasat-provided mixture of services. The Flying Kangaroo's Boeing 737 domestic fleet will use KA band via the Australian National Broadband Network's SkyMuster satellite. The A33200 fleet, which also flies to Honolulu and half a dozen Asian destinations, will see Viasat's hybrid KU-KA system and switch over to KU on leaving Australia. Next, as you can read on RGN Premium, Intelsat's latest earnings report was something of a bloodbath. Subscribe to RGN Premium for all the in-depth analysis. And lastly, we at RGN were delighted to see the Wall Street Journal focusing on PAXX. There was a great feature by Scott McCartney on flight search by data site Route Happy, where, incidentally, I used to be director of data. It's well worth a read. That's it. Follow us on Twitter at ThatJohn and at RunwayGirl. Keep up to the minute with the PaxX hashtag and join us next time for the Runway Girl Network PaxX Minute. We're going.